In previous versions of After Effects tutorials, I've shown you guys how to make rain. This time we're going to make a distant cousin of rain, foam. And I'm going to show you how you can actually use an image to replace the foam. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Effect. And as you can see here, we have nothing uh, being able to be chosen because we don't have anything in our comp window. So what we have to do is put the image that we're going to use which is in your work files folder, Hannibal, in here, as well as the object that's going to be the foam, which will be a solid. So I'm going to go ahead and, first of all, resize Hannibal just a little bit. We're not going to really see this picture once we apply this effect. He will actually be the foam that's going around. Let's also go to the layer menu, choose new, and we're going to create a brand new solid. When you create lots of the effects in After Effects, don't forget, many times you want to put them on a solid. The color doesn't matter. I'm going to choose Make Comp Size, and I'm going to click OK. We can also rename this foam if you want to, but I'm going to leave it as Cyan Solid. I'm going to go back to the Effect menu. I'll go to Simulation, and we're going to choose Foam. Now what you're going to see is this little red circle here. I'm actually going to turn off the Hannibal layer by clicking on the eyeball so we can focus on this red circle. This is the canon or the producer of the foam effect. And if we scrub the current time indicator, we have our foam or our bubbles. So I'll go ahead and scrub forward just a little bit and also show you how we can see the final result of this foam. If you look in the effects controls under view, we're currently looking at draft. I'll click on this little arrow and I can choose rendered. And now we can see the phone. But there's many different types of phone that you can produce. And we'll talk about that in just a second. So we're going to go and twirl this open. And as you can see, we can change the producer itself. Once again, the producer is the little circle here. We can change the size of that producer. We can choose the producer point and move it. And we can change the X and the Y size of it. I'm going to twirl that closed. Now let's talk about the bubbles. We can change the size of the bubbles. We can change the size variance so that we have a more varied effect here as opposed to just one size bubble. The lifespan means how long the bubble appears before it dies off. The bubble growth, we can change that as well. And its strength. Let's go ahead and close that. Next we have physics. We can change the initial speed of the bubbles, the du direction, the wind speed, and as you scrub some of these you can actually see the effect taking place. So you can see the wind is pushing it. We can change the wind direction and you see that it changes in our comp window. We can add turbulence, a wobble amount, repulsion, and we can even do things like viscosity, and velocity with these guys here. Even stickiness. How sticky are these bubbles to one another? I'll go ahead and close that one. And we either have a zoom slider so we can get really close or far away. And we also have rendering. This is the fun part. We can choose the bubble texture. Now as you can see it's the default bubble. I'll open up this guy here and you see we can have amber bock, water beads, We'll go ahead and skip that one. <laughs> Thanks Adobe for throwing that in there. Cartoon coffee. And so many more. Winter stream is kind of fun. But I'm going to go ahead and choose user defined. This gives us the ability to choose a picture that we have in our timeline. So with user defined selected, I can now choose bubble texture layer. And I can choose the solid. Or I can choose Hannibal. And when I scrub, we got a whole bunch of bubbly elephants. Now using a solid is cool too because now we can have a whole bunch of squares or whatever shape you have there flying around. Really, really cool stuff here. So hopefully you guys will really find some really good uses for this. And I think I said really like three times. I was really excited about it. But you can do all kinds of things like underwater effects bubbles. You can have them follow a submarine, for example. You can do a scuba diver. 
all kinds of great things. Soda can where you have bubbles flowing up or down. So you really can just use your imagination and come up with all kinds of things.